Well, BB guns and airsoft guns may seem harmless, but tonight Beaumont police are sending a warning after they recovered some that resemble real guns. KFDM's Haley Bull reports how easy it is to mistake them for weapons that pose a greater threat and one outcome in Ohio that is drawing national attention to the problem. Countless people are visiting the mall for the holidays. A blur of people coming and going. But this past weekend, something stood out. What you're looking at at the top, the silver weapon is my on-duty weapon. It's a Colt 45. And then you have here a uh, airsoft gun or a BB gun that is a resemblance of that 45. Officers recovered a BB gun with a silencer attached to it. They say kids dropped it while running at Parkdale Mall. At nighttime, this would be very hard to tell. And this one, similar to a Glock found in a bush. The manufacturers are making them just as a replica of the real thing, so uh, it's hard to tell the difference at. Take a look. Can you tell if this is a real gun or a BB gun? How about now? It's hard to spot the differences, even for officers dealing with certain situations. A lot of times these kids are carrying it in their hip. They're putting it down their pants, uh, which is traditionally how you know offenders carry their guns. Uh, when we come up uh, against a young man and we see him with a gun, we're going to, from a distance, order him to put his hands up and not reach for that gun. Uh, but unfortunately, these kids will react by reaching in. A sudden movement that can have a tragic outcome officers like Joe Ornelas want to avoid. If we shoot somebody, uh, it's going to be a traumatic uh, event for that family, that young person, and also for the officer. Uh, it affects us as well, uh, having to find out later that it was a toy gun that this young person was carrying and pointed at an officer. And there was a guy in there with a pistol, you know, it's probably safe, but he's like pointing at everybody. A call that became a reality one week ago in Cleveland, Ohio. He's pulling it in and out of his pants. I don't know if it's real or not. The 911 tape never indicates the responding officers knew the gun was fake. They fired two shots, killing him. They later learned the person they killed, 12-year-old Tamir Rice. The gun? A BB gun. A death halfway across the country. The outcome? A concern for officers who seized fake guns in Beaumont. Uh, this was just uh, this weekend, but unfortunately it happens far too many times. While investigators in Cleveland decide whether to charge the officers, there is no debate. Their split-second decision in a case involving a child and a BB gun will last a lifetime. In Beaumont, Haley Bull, KFDM 6 News. Police say it's important to use BB or airsoft guns only in a controlled environment, not outside. The gun should be marked either with a manufacturer's orange tip or another fluorescent mark. And if asked, you should follow an officer's command.